Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July. So in today's video, we're going to be cleaning and redecorating my primary bedroom. I just wanted to give this space a refresh and actually get in here and clean. So I'm going to start by taking down these curtains. I have some white drapes that I'm going to be adding in this space just to kind of brighten the room back up again. So that's what I'm going to be doing in, this, in today's video. So now that I got all the old curtains taken down, I'm going to go ahead and just take my duster and just dust my blinds. I did give my blinds a really good uh, cleaning maybe a few weeks ago with some actual multi-purpose cleaner and just wipe them down. But today I'm just going to take this duster and dust each, each blind just to make sure there's no dust bunnies or anything like that on them. So I wanted the curtains in my master bedroom to flow just like the ones in my formal living room area and then in my family room. So I wanted them to be uniform. So I partnered with Two Pages. Two Pages makes custom drapes. And when I say they are truly customizable, they are truly customizable because you can choose your length and your width. You can choose your header. You can also even choose your color and your liner. So I chose my drapes in the triple pinch pleated. That's the exact same uh, drapes that I have in my living room area. And then I chose my liner to be room darkening and then I chose a white liner on the back and then I also chose the color I believe this color is ivory white or beige white is what I chose for my um, curtains but I absolutely love the style of their curtains they just look so luxe like I said you can customize them customize them however you may want you can choose your header size you can choose um, your length and your width and then you can also choose what kind of liner do you want on the back these curtains are really great because they look so high-end and they are a Amazon seller so these curtains all are available on Amazon as you can see here I haven't even stained them yet and this is how the curtains look without being stained they just really give a really nice soft luxe vibe so I am gonna take my steamer this steamer is from Electrolux and I'm gonna go ahead and just steam the curtains slightly just to get out a few of the wrinkles that they do have in the curtains 
but I absolutely love this drapes. It comes with the hooks and everything for the pinch pleated, but you do have to order the rings separate. So I always get my rings from Amazon because you can kind of get a bulk amount of them, especially when you have so many panels to hang up. Um, Amazon just have the most affordable uh, price. So I'll have two pages link in uh, just I have two pages information linked down in the description box below. So yeah, thank you to two pages for sponsoring today's video. So I'm just going to go ahead and slightly stain these panels and just try to get some of the wrinkles out. But I just love I just love pinch pleated drapes. I just think it just gives a really nice looks vibe to your space. So I absolutely love these curtains. I'm gonna use my Method Multi-Purpose Spray. This is in the scent Lavender. I just love this lavender scent. I'm gonna take it and spray my bed and just to give it a really good wipe down. One thing I dislike about this bed is it holds a lot of dust. Just holds a lot of dust and then it does easily scratch. So um, yeah, I think I am gonna change this bed out in the future. Um, just right, not right now, but maybe in a year or so, I'll probably end up changing out the furniture and just getting something else, a little bit lighter in color. That way it's not so dusty. But yeah, I usually have to uh, wipe it down and then I do vacuum my headboard and my mattress and stuff and uh, also just to kind of keep down all the dust bunnies on it. But yeah, but I absolutely love the style of it. And this bed is from Wayfair, but it has been discontinued. It's been discontinued for a few now, for a few years now. So I haven't been able to find this particular bed, but they do have similar beds um, just with a different style from other vendors. I think I've seen one similar like on Front Gate. They also have some other ones on Wayfair that kind of look similar to this bed as well. My lighting, I'm gonna just take this duster and I think I got this duster from Target, so it was very inexpensive, but I'm just taking this just to kind of dust my chandelier and get everything all clean. This was a collaboration from homery.com, so I'll have it linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested. So I did go ahead and vacuum my headboard and my mattress pad off camera just so this video is not too long. But I'm just gonna take that same multi-purpose spray and clean off my nightstands. I did take down my mirrors because I really wanted to kind of simplify the space a little bit. So I put one on the opposite side and then the other one I just put away in storage. And I absolutely love how it looks without the um, mirrors on here. I think it shows more of the molding detail that's on the wall. So I did go ahead and shop my home and added these framed pictures that I had for many years. I got these from Home Goods. I thought it would flow nicely in this bedroom, so I decided to go ahead and add it to the wall over here. I'm just using some sprayway glass cleaner just to kind of clean the frames. So now I'm going to go ahead and make up my bed. So my sheet set is from Brook Linen. I just love how soft and comfortable their sheet sets are and their duvet. So that's what I'm going to be adding as the basis for my bed. I always like to use white linen because it just gives off a really nice look vibe. I do sometimes add a pop of color when it's the fall season and Christmas season. But for now, I'm just going to go back to my traditional white linen that I put on my bed. My mattress pad is from Home Goods as well. I think it's a Mar Martha Stewart brand. So um, yeah, so it fits comfortably on the mattress and it's really soft. So it just protects the mattress. So that way um, you don't have to worry about your mattress getting damaged.
ahead and add in my quilt. Adding a quilt on top of your sheet says just give your bed, your bed another layer and then it also gives your bed another luxe look. So I always like to add in a nice quilt over the sheet set. So this quilt is from Z Gallery. I absolutely love it because it's, even though it's white, it cleans up really good. That's one thing about using white linen. All you do is add a little bleach in it and it comes back white. So yeah, I absolutely love the softness of this quilt. So yeah, I have it linked down in the description box below. I'll have all the linen linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested. So now that my bed is all made, I'm going to add in some accent pillows. So these pillows I got from Home Goods years ago. It has like a really pretty, I think that's a leopard print on the front. And then it has like a black uh, velvet print on the back. Really pretty. I hardly use these pillows. I think I only use them like maybe a few times in my, um, in my home. So I thought I'll add them to my bedroom. So I'm, they are, I think they, I believe they are 24 by 24. Yeah, but I haven't seen these pillows in home goods since and I bought these like maybe a few years ago so I absolutely love them so I'm gonna add them to my um, bed and then I'm gonna add one more additional pillow that's in a 22 by 22 and then that pillow cover I actually purchased from Amazon Now that my bed is all made, I always like to finish off the look with some room freshener so or some linen spray. This is by Castelluna, and then this is the Scent Tranquility. So I absolutely love how this smells. It just smells really um, amazing. So to style my nightstand, I'm going to add in these uh, home decor books. One is called Elements of Style. The other one is Inspire Me Home Decor. Those You can find those on Amazon. 
Then I'm gonna add in this bust. I found this bust at Home Goods on a recent trip. I had an all black one, but I ended up breaking it. So when I seen this bronze one, I was so excited. So I had to buy another one. So I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna add it to my nightstand. These ginger jars I got from Ross uh, many years ago. So I'm gonna add in some white roses to it. My husband's side I usually just keep it real simple and I'm just gonna add in a second ginger jar but I'm just gonna leave it plain sometimes I usually store some decorative boxes on there as well just to keep this ring and things like that on there but over here I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this area off um, this marble table I got from uh, Kirkland's actually a few months ago I got that one from Kirkland's marble at the top and it has like a metal base I'm gonna add in another decorative pillow that pillowcase like I said came from Amazon my little set T did come from tall furniture it does come in a gold and white too uh, gold and um, ivory color as well so I'm gonna clean off this area here. So I have this artwork that I got from Kirkland's as well. Y'all probably seen it on the opposite side of my room. Um, plenty of times I decided to move it over here. Um, I'm gonna clean off this fireplace. I really need to paint the top part of it. It does have some marks on here from Christmas, but I just haven't gotten around the chance to kind of touching up some of the paint at the top. But I'm using that same multi-purpose spray just to kind of give everything a good cleaning and a good wipe down. Um, I'm going to add in these decorative vases here. I got these years ago from Star Furniture here in Houston. So I just love the black and white and I, well, the black and ivory. It really matches really well with my space. And then these decorative balls I got from Home Goods on a recent trip. So I did have my TV placed above the fireplace. Um, but it did go out recently, so I'm on a hunt for a new TV. But right now, I'm just enjoying how it looks without having the TV above the fireplace. I think it really has, gives off a nice, cleaner look. So I absolutely love how it um, it looks now. So I'm gonna be burning a candle on this side. This is in Mahogany Teakwood by Bath & Body Works. It just smells like a nice, luxury candle, so I absolutely love this scent. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why in gravity? So to give this corner a little refresh, I decided to add one of the mirrors that was behind my bed over here. I did get this mirror from uh, Star Furniture here in Houston. It is by Uttermost. It's really heavy, just a gorgeous mirror. So I added one here and then I put the other one away. Then I also wanted to add some greenery to my bedroom because I have no greenery at all. So I found this large floor vase from Home Goods. It's absolutely stunning. I just love the sculptural detail that it has on it. I'm gonna place a real plant in it. You can totally place a faux plant if you're not good at growing um, any real plants. But I decided to place a real plant in. I did drill several holes at the bottom so the plant can have some drainage. I also filled it up with dirt. And then I also have, I have several of those little clear plastic saucers that goes underneath my plant stay, um, underneath my um, planters. So that way the water doesn't drain on my floor and make my carpeting or my floor is all stained and moldy and all that stuff. So I do have some little saucers that goes underneath there. But yeah, I absolutely love this vase. It looks so gorgeous. So I'm going to add in this plant this plant i don't think i have the i don't know the name of it because it didn't have a tag on it but i have had it before it does require just a little bit of low light Now that I got the plant all planted, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess because now I got dirt all over the floor. So yeah, I'm just gonna hit and vacuum up my rug just to uh, remove all this dirt. If you do decide to use real plants and big planters like this, I always one tip is just to put that planter in, in the space where you want it to be or in the area where, put it in this spot so that way before you actually add all your dirt in your soil because once you add that dirt in soil, it's so hard to move those planters. So I always try to position it first in this spot and then fill it up with dirt and all of that and then get the plant planted so that way I don't have to move it again. 
So I love using my Dyson vacuum cleaner. I absolutely love it. You guys always ask me what kind of vacuum cleaner I use. So I use the Dyson, this is the V7. Only complaint that I have about this vacuum cleaner is that, is that it doesn't stay charged very long. It stays charged for a max of 30 minutes when it's fully charged. So my husband found a TikTok hack and actually he took off the Dyson battery and replaced it with one of his batteries that go to one of his um, handheld drills. And this battery lasts, when I tell you, over an hour when, by doing that hack. It saves me so much time. So all you have to do is just unscrew the Dyson original battery and then replace it with one of those other uh, portable drill batteries. So it works super well. So I, if I could find the video that he found, I'll link it down in the description box below. But yeah, it just say gives you so much longer use out of your vacuum cleaner than having the original battery on there. So to style my little side table over here, I always like to keep it really simple. So I'm gonna share with you these battery operated candles that were sent out to me by K-Swing. And I love using these battery operated candles because it gives your room a really beautiful glow without having real burning candles all over the place. This one is a three piece set. So it comes with a small, medium and large. It also comes with a remote control to actually turn the candles on and off. And I tell you, it added really nice looks, look to your bedroom without having to have have real candles burning all over the place I absolutely love it so they usually come in all different kinds of um, was well, separate colors but the ones that I have now is a really pretty kind of gold color and when I tell you it gives off a beautiful ambient glow it just looks gorgeous so these candles do run by battery they do have a movable flame at the top which looks so real and is made of this kind of glass which is absolutely stunning so they are so gorgeous. They do take batteries. So they take um, two AA batteries in each candle or in each pillar. So I'm gonna get these unwrapped and then I'm gonna show you how they work. So K-Swing is an Amazon seller that sells home decor. They also even sell some um, home remodeling equipment and things like that for your bathrooms and your kitchens. So definitely check out their website. I'll have a link down in the description box below, but they are giving all of my subscribers 30% off. So thank you to K-Swing for sponsoring this portion of today's video. But this is a little remote that comes with it. All you have to do is make sure you pull out that little tabby. So this is how the candles work when you use the remote. You can turn them on and off, and you can also turn them on and off at the bottom of the candle as well. So I absolutely love this. So yeah, they just give a really nice, simple or simplistic look to this little sitting area over here. It turned out really good. So this is an overview of the bedroom, you guys. Everything is all nice and clean. I absolutely love how this refresh has turned out. So make sure you guys are tuned in for Friday's video. We are gonna be celebrating Christmas in July here on the channel. So I have some early Christmas home decor inspiration for you all that's coming up on Friday. So thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.